This video was produced with a contribution from the live program of the European Union. Hello everybody and welcome to Tofte in Lillevilmose. We are in an area of approximately 4,000 hectares of raised bog, forests, grassland and meadows. It is owned by OV Jensen Naturfond, the nature foundation that manages uh, nature areas all over Denmark and is a partner of the uh, Life Open Woods project. In this little movie we're going to uh, introduce you to the Vicent and uh, why we have chosen to introduce the species uh, to the system of Tofte. The Tofte area has been fenced and grazed for uh, more than a hundred years uh, and is composed by open forests consisting of trees and bushes spread apart in what you could call wood pastures, but also more close canopy forests. Then you have large areas of grasslands and meadows, and then of course the raised bark. Two other large herbivores are present in Tofte and has been for more than a hundred years, the red deer and the wild boar. And the dynamic effects of these two species are found all over the area. But something is missing. Large areas of Tofte is dominated by coarse grasses. And this is why we have chosen to introduce the Vicent uh, to the area. It, it is the missing link to a larger variety of habitats that is more flora and more fauna. The Nature Foundation and scientists have decided that this is the way to go. And we've been working for this with a comprehensive footwork for more than six or seven years. Two years ago, we brought the first little group of Vicent to Lillevilmose, and the animals were kept in a holding facility uh, while the legislative and practical aspects were prepared for the great introduction to Tofte. In April 2021, we supplemented this little beginning group with seven animals coming from three different projects in Holland. So that uh, the group is now consisting of one young bull, three mature cows, four heifers, and then two young uh, bull calves of half and one year. And then just a week ago, the first calf was born in Tofte. We hope that the, the area can support maybe up to 30 or 40 animals. We don't know yet, but we have fitted three of the animals with GPS colors enabling us to follow their way through the landscape. At the same time, we will be monitoring their effects on the vegetation and combined with data on their fitness and our monitoring in the management, we will be able to determine if it's 30 or 40 or 50 animals. The composition of the initial population was coordinated with EBCC, the European Bison Conservation Center, that holds the pedigree book for the European bison. When reaching the carrying capacity of the area, we wish to contribute to the ongoing work for this fantastic and endangered species. This will happen by distributing excess animals to other European projects, and the work will be coordinated with EBCC, the European Bison Conservation Center. This is some of the evident signs that the Vicent are already uh, living in Tofte. This debarking of trees and bushes is a very typical uh, effect, one of these dynamic effects that we wanted to reinstall in the system. And when they do this debarking, you get the openings for insects and for fungi to attack and live on the woods. That means more space for more species. This is another evident sign of the Vicent's feeding in this area. You see the grass being kept low and giving room for flowers and herbs to come through the cover of vegetation. And this is something really particular for the Vicent and not done to the same extent by neither the deer or of course the wild boar. So a very, very, very important effect from, from the Vicent. Another important thing is, of course, the feces, the excrements from the Vicent are larger and of another structure than uh, what you see from the deer. And uh, they um, 
are a very, very important uh, habitat for a lot of beetles, dung beetles and uh, larger insects and uh, subsequently for birds feeding on these insects. So a very, very important contribution to, to the system is uh, also the, the shit coming out of the big animals. One of the last very uh, interesting aspects of uh, bringing the Vicente into the system is the animal's capability of moving plant seeds around. Some plant seeds are moved uh, within the animal, while others cling onto the fur of the animals. And with its kind of wiry and woolly fur, the properties of the Vicente and the capabilities of moving plant seeds around is going to be very, very exciting to follow. We at the OV Instant Nature Foundation and the Life Open Wood Projects are very excited to follow the effects of the animals in the Tofta system. At the end of the project, a layman's report will disseminate results and it'll enable you to dive deeper into the effects of, of the project. In the meantime, we invite you to come and experience the animals in this fantastic area. Thank you very much for watching.